Sand on this planet, there's one hell of a lot of it. It's estimated by those who know these things that out there, they estimate there to be more planets and stars than there are grains of sand on all the beaches of the Earth. The number is mind boggling almost incomprehensible. And where do we fit into the scheme of this vastness? The Earth, one grain of sand, and that's it. I'm Jack Turnbull. Um, I've had an interest in UFOs since I was a boy, teenager, 15. Goes back to 1957 in Edinburgh and I first had an encounter with something I couldn't explain. And uh, I've been sort of tied up with it ever since. Great interest. I'm looking for the smoking gun. Over the years, my interest has grown because as more and more information has become available, especially via the internet, then doors have been opened. I mean, today, public opinion has changed dramatically to what it was like when I was 15 in 1957. If you'd done a survey then, and you'd asked a hundred people, you know, what do you think of the, uh, the possibility of the existence of extraterrestrial life, or more to the point, it's visiting this planet, that if you might have got one or two, perhaps, one or two percent, that would have been about it. Most people just dismissed it offhand. But today, it's not dismissed offhand. Today, if you did a survey, you're liable to get more than 50 percent. That's how much it's changed. Well, MUFON began. It was originated by a couple of guys in America who on a bit of a mission, who were interested in the subject, uh, intrigued by it, and uh, wanted to shed some light on it. So they started this organization, and it has, in the, in the years since, decades, in fact, it's quite old, um, has spread its arms right across the globe, is in many countries, where it has investigators who investigate sightings, and pass reports back to a central database on the findings. Um, but in spite of that, we haven't found the smoking gun yet, which is absolute proof. We've got pretty damn close. I am an investigator with MUFON. I joined MUFON about a year ago. I've had an ongoing interest in this subject for, for years. And I stumbled across it, actually, on the web. And, uh, I approached them. And it turns out that they obviously assign field investigators and uh, in due course I was assigned as a field investigator for MUFON. I am now, as part of that process, entitled to receive case files, which I do regularly, which I contact on the telephone. Without organizations like MUFON, and the, this whole thing has been shrouded in mystery and locked up behind closed doors deliberately, in my view, for years we would be like ostriches with our heads stuck in the sand. We'd have no idea. We would be in a dark room being fed a load of crap. But like mushrooms, really. Uh, so I think they do a very good, they offer a very good service. Infinity, okay. Well, it's something we find it very hard to get our heads around. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of beyond our comprehension. Endlessness, out there, the universe continues ad infinitum. We need to find an end, because we, we work with being beginnings and ends. We're programmed that, we're wired for beginnings and ends, and we find it hard to step us out of that. And yet, infinity is right there, right in front of us. I take the piece of wood, I cut it in two, I half it, and then they half the two halves, and I go on subdividing, half, 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 ad infinitum, I'll eventually reach the stage where there isn't any wood left to see. But there will be a fraction pertaining to a piece of wood that you can't see. So theoretically, although you can't see it, if there's a number relates to it, it exists. 
And that's infinity. It's right there in front of you. In relation to ET, I would link infinity in the sense that the possibilities are endless. The only thing that contains us is our thinking. Out there, it's all possible. And the possibility is mathematically based on what we know. That's staggering. That's just what we know. You know, 70 billion trillion stars in the universe that we can see. That's just the little bit we can see. God knows what's behind that. That's the point. So the possibilities are endless. The only thing we're containing is our own thinking would contain us. You've got to step outside of that to get your head around this or even start. The reason we're making this documentary is to make people aware of the existence of extraterrestrial beings visiting this planet. In my experience, there are three types. There are the believers, the non-believers, and the agnostics in the middle. My target are the agnostics, those who, who are undecided. They usually don't have enough information at their disposal or haven't endeavored to find any answers in which to enlighten themselves and thus form a more accurate opinion. So they're the prime target. Of course, if I can drag a few non-believers along with me, then that would be great. So the purpose is to enlighten you, to make you aware of what is going on, to give you a snippet of the information that has been accumulated over 60 years. And then perhaps to leave it for you to work out where you think this subject really is and how credible it is.